In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the cervical dental roll. So this device is a cervical dental roll. It's a hard piece of foam. Um, and the reason that I would prescribe this is usually if um, someone's cervical spine is going in the wrong direction or they have a significant loss of the normal curve. So when we look at the spine on the x-ray, the neck should have this curvature in it. Really important to have that curve. Um, for proper joint health, for the muscles, the ligaments, the spinal cord, the blood vessels, really, really important to have that curve. So if somebody is to lose that curvature or it's even going in the wrong direction, which unfortunately um, I see too often these days, what this curve or what this dental roll is going to do, the person is going to lie on top of that dental roll and over time that's going to allow the muscles and the ligaments and those other connective tissues to adapt and stretch to allow that spine to conform to a more optimal structure. So um, depending on where the, pro um, the most significant problem is in the neck, I may prescribe you to use this high on the neck, low on the neck, or in the mid neck. Now this part, this curved part of the dental roll is going to go towards the shoulders. Um, this part, the higher point is going to go towards the head. So all you would do when I prescribe this, if I say to put it high, you're going to put it underneath of the base of the skull and you're just going to lie down and you're going to relax. If I say middle, middle, and if I say low, put it as low on the neck as you possibly can, just like that. And again, you're going to do this for the prescribed time. I do recommend starting this slow, meaning start with one to two minutes and then add 30 seconds to a minute as you go. Um, you may notice while you're lying on this that um, you get some numbness in the area where you're putting it in the neck. You may even get a little bit of numbness or tingling going out into your shoulders, down into your hands. That's completely normal, and that's a sign of why we need to correct the spine. And it's because of the structural issue affecting the nerves going out to the arms that it's causing those symptoms. So we need to correct those structural issues. If you have any questions, let me know.